Hello again, this is James with Phoenix Auto Detailing right here in beautiful Somerville, South Carolina. We had another first time client bring this Jeep Wrangler in. It said that every time he washes it, he has to see scratches and swirl marks. And these things are covering the entire vehicle. So after a conversation and agreement on an expected outcome, we decided on an exterior detail and a polish to get this thing looking nice again. After washing and clay barring the vehicle, I found a couple spots that needed some extra attention, so I did another inspection and placed a piece of blue tape on each spot, including two spots the client mentioned where stickers had been removed and there were leftover adhesive. The lighting's not that great, but we tried to use steam to remove the adhesive. It removed some of the top layer, but not everything. But man, did it look cool on video. We ended up having to rely on rubbing alcohol to remove the rest of the adhesive before polishing.
swapping back and forth between two different machines, three different pads, trying to figure out how much polish to put on a pad, how fast the pad should turn on the machine, how fast my arm should move back and forth across the surface of the vehicle, and how the paint responds to each of those combinations and trying to remove as many scratches and swirl marks as we can, all while maintaining the integrity of the clear coat that's on the paint. It takes a while, and most people don't understand that. But to try and find the right combination of all of those different ingredients and get the best outcome on the vehicle that we can, maintaining that integrity of the clear coat and the paint on the vehicle, it's pretty involved. As we wind down the actual work portion of this video, I just thought I'd take a moment to let you know that not the entire Jeep could be polished by machine. A lot of it had to be done by hand, well, finger actually, wrapped up inside a microfiber towel with some polish on it. All those hinges around the doors, underneath the door handles, the latches on the hood, the rubber bumpers, any place that a machine could not fit without bumping into something had to be done by hand, including the entire back gate that opens up on the back of the Jeep. 